so noisy in here. This is the main airline coming in, standard 100 PSI line. What we got here is the regulator for the uh, plasma reactor, our, our thing. It's at uh, 20 liters per minute of air. Our push through air, we had up to two or 25 liters per minute. So we're at 50 liters a minute that's going in here. Uh, and then we have our secondary air block here, which we open wide open here, sorry. Uh, the line comes down to here into this block where we've created a vortex chamber. So basically what's happening is the plasma reactor is reforming the, uh, the oh, there's my gas canister over there, is reforming the, um, the propane, okay, into hydrogen carbon monoxide. The abundance of compressed air inside this chamber is swirling around in a vortex, in a reverse vortex, which pushes it down into the, you see the steam coming up still, right? Nice and hot now. Um, for the reverse vortex, uh, ignites, if you guys it's already hot, ignites that second, that, that hydrogen carbon monoxide, the synthesis gas, and any other hydrocarbon that is in there. And inside here, uh, it's superheated to 2200 degrees C. So the jet temperature coming out of here is 2200 degrees C. Uh, and then what we do, then that was that we're working off of is this gas expansion principle, right? So once this little bit of air goes in here, it, it gets like heated up to 2200 degrees C, ends up at the volume is, is huge compared to what we're putting in here, right? So then what we've also done is we found that uh, when we were doing that, that the, we, uh, are, we were getting overheated. So we got the bright idea of doing a steam injection. So we got our, a little injector here, which we inject water in with a uh, just a chemical pump, a metering pump. And we inject a little bit of steam in every time. And that cools the engine, but also creates mass in order to uh, speed it up. As you see, we had uh, just a 10 kilowatt generator. It was turning it no problem, creating uh, and creating a um, 110 volts, which it's set for. Um, unfortunately, here I my volume drops here because I got such a big engine on it. So at 300 psi, and if I had the volume, I could probably do with this particular engine, which is 12 inches across, at least two to 300 horsepower. We're actually going to put. I'll show you. This engine on here. Inside? This engine on here because uh, it's more suited for the 10 kilowatts. It's probably about 30 horsepower total. And then we've got these ones here, which are our seg system. And this is how this is basically the same principle. And what we're doing here is we're setting it up to be sent off to uh, be tested. But as you can see, this is the internal cage here. Inside, there's an inner and outer inner and outer inter-engaging rotors and as the air as everything comes in here whatever we're doing it caused this this shaft is on a eccentric so it causes like both a piston action and a rotary action it's really quite slick it's both on rotary bearings this one here uh, easily 500 or more horsepower okay that's it and this is our shop that we've got for now we're Got uh, two, three CNC machines and a bunch of other conventional machines, and we just pop this stuff off. As you can see, it's still, still steaming. There's still energy stored in this thing uh, from the heat from the uh, vortex chamber. All right.